Hi and welcome to StampingSmiles.com. Today I'm going to make my February customer thank you card for you with the Sprinkled Expressions stamp set and the Everyday Elegance Designer Paper and the Everyday Enchantment Ribbon and Brad Pack. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to use these two from the set. That flower, isn't that adorable? And then the greeting, it says, you make my whole face smile. I'm stamping smiles. How perfect is that? We're going to start with the flower. And I'm going to stamp it in Pool Party because I'm using this paper from the Everyday Enchantment Designer Series paper, uh, Lucky Limeade and Pool Party and Very Vanilla. And so there's our Very Vanilla. And um, I need to ink up my flower stamp. I could do it like this. But, I don't know if you can see that, but I don't have quite even coverage. I really prefer on a solid stamp to take my pad to it and get just really good, good, good coverage. There we go. And so then I want to stamp it and hold it down a little bit extra long with a solid stamp. I like a nice solid deep image and I get that by holding it down just a little bit longer. I don't have to press hard, I just need to press everywhere. And when I pull this away, voila, look how pretty and deep that is. And so then with my greeting, look, the flowers are, are there and I want these to fall in a very specific place. So in order to achieve that, I'm going to use the Stampamajig. This is the handle, the stamp positioner, and the imaging sheet. And I've already gone ahead and stamped the image so you could see it in basic black on here, but I'm going to show you how I did that. So um, to do that, you take the stamp positioner or the handle, put the imaging sheet right in the corner. It has to be butted in against the top and the side. Ink up your stamp, and then your stamp needs to touch the top and the side too, and stamp right there. And this now is what I use to place it so I can see wherever I'm placing and look and I want it to fall right between those two and so that's right where I put this bring back the positioner get the imaging sheet into the corner and, I, and look at that and so when I go to stamp I can't help but stamp exactly where I want to isn't that cool so, but before I do that, I want to use two different colors. I want my flowers to stay in pool party to go with this, but then I want the greeting and lucky limeade to coordinate with my paper. So for that, I'm going to use the 2011-2013 in color markers, and that includes the pool party and the lucky limeade. Let's see if I can keep my hands out of the shot. Here we go. And I'm going to use the side of my markers. If I use the tip, I'm just going to wear it down quicker. I mean, these are great markers. But if you use the side, it's quick to color in and it saves your marker. And then the Lucky Limeade. And I'm using the brush end. There's a smaller end, but the brush end I used probably 99% of the time. I'm going to color this in the same way. And this is a dye based ink. And that means it's water based and it dries very quickly. You know, this was dry already. You know how quickly the dye pads. And so the, the markers are the same. And while I was coloring this, the flowers were already drying. So I need to revitalize that ink. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to huff on it. You know how the kids huff on the glass? They, they, they don't just blow, they don't blow, they, you know, breathe on it to add that moisture so it fogs up so they can write in it. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to huff on this to revitalize that ink and add the moisture back in. So excuse me while I huff. And then I'm going to stamp by going right back in the corner. Now I can move the handle. I'm going to hold this down a little bit extra long because I want a nice deep image again. And then look at that. How adorable is that? My flower is exactly where I wanted it. That just makes me so happy. Oh, there you go. You make my whole face smile. <laughs> so let me show you my finished card, my February customer thank you card, and there we go. Um, the Lucky Limeade is the base, and that paper from the Everyday Enchantment. I used the Ticket Corner Punch on my pool party, that layer. A little bit of spongy with the sponge dauber, just a little bit of color, and this ribbon, the Lucky Limeade ribbon, that is from the um, Everyday Enchantment ribbon and uh, Brad Pack. Isn't that adorable? So sweet. 
but it was my stampin' jig that lets me get it right there every time instead of stamping it and then going, oh no, I messed up and turning it over. And so uh, anyone who places their stampin' of order with me will get this handmade card in the mail. And then that's anybody who places their order with me. Uh, you can do that at my online store or if someone, you know, if someone is local and in person. Or if you're in the, or the Stamping Smiles Virtual Stamp Club, yes ma'am, you still get a handmade card. The club is virtual, but the handmade card isn't. And so with the Stamping Smiles Virtual Stamp Club, you make a, a commitment to make, um, for six months, a small monthly commitment. You place your Stampin' Up! orders with me. In return, you get a free online class. <laughs> How about that? And so every month you'll get that free online class and be in... Uh, my exclusive rewards program for those who place online orders and you would be doing that being in the club and uh, and then of course get a thank you card because I like to thank everybody who places their orders with me so um, so go and place your Stampin' Up! order with me in February and I will send this card to you the link is at the bottom of the screen or right here Doop. <laughs> There it is, or I'll have it underneath the video as well, so you can just click on that and go right to my online store. So, February customer thank you card with the Sprinkled Expressions, the Everyday Enchantment Designer Series paper, and the Everyday Enchantment ribbon for celebration. Thanks for watching.